So welcome back everyone. We have a special guest today. Hey guys. Brian. And Brian, you have a new a new toy. Yes, um, I bought myself, uh, was it two weeks ago, a 1998 Honda XR250 dirt bike. Original so, owner. Yeah, from the original owner. So Very nice, yeah. very nice bike. We're going riding Saturday. Yeah. I, I was super excited. I'm, I'm very stoked. So, uh, in the comments, there were several, uh, several of you that said, hey, why are you using that old antiquated saw when the Japanese saws are so much better? So, we thought we would do a little test. Can you cut a big log faster with a Japanese saw than you can with a traditional American buck saw? What do you think? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Uh, maybe if the log diameter were smaller, I mean, I mean, what is, what is this? Maybe like 16, 18 inches or something it, it like that? It is a little small. This log here is, what, what do we figure? This, it's probably 16 inch. Uh, let, let's uh, come over to the side and let's so, show how your saw compares uh, in the diameter. So as you can see, there's going to be a very distinct disadvantage uh, to the Japanese saw. However, I think we can mitigate it by changing sides. So what we're going to do is we are going to have a competition. I'm going to take the buck saw. Brian's going to take the Japanese pole saw and we're going to cut. And when he runs out of, when you run out of blade, you're going to call switch and we'll both switch. Uh, so it kind of keeps it somewhat even. What do you think? I think that should just about do it. I mean, it'll at least be fair. And Brian, if you'd be so kind to knock the bark off of here uh, a couple inches back, uh, we'll have to, we'll cut on opposite sides. Uh, there's a lot of dirt in this, and when you, when we uh, skidded this, you can see it's got dirt and rocks in it. That'll really dull um, any saw. So if you have a saw like a crosscut saw that's so labor intensive to sharpen, you want to make sure you get rid of that bark first and get down to that clean, uh, clean wood. Would it be better to have a bark spud for that, or is that working pretty it's good? It's going to work okay. Maybe not the fastest in the world, but... Let's see if I can get under this here. That works pretty good, actually. I didn't even know they made those. I made this. No kidding. Yeah, out of a piece of spring steel. I found some old designs, some old drawings, logging equipment, and uh, kind of copied it, and it works really good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You want to try it? Yeah, it's just a big old wedge. If you want your, if you want to get bark off of trees, uh, it's a fine line. You leave them on the ground too fa too long, uh, and they'll get bugs. But if you can leave them on the ground, um, they'll the log actually kind of. I think it shrinks a little bit from the moisture loss and the bark becomes much, much easier to get off. So this is what kind of what we're experiencing here. You good on your side? Yeah, I think so. Let me get this back Okay, I think it's time for the for the test here. So I did give Brian, I gave you your choice of which saw you wanted and you chose? I chose the, what is this, a silky saw? The big boy, yeah. Japanese saw. Exactly. Japanese saw cut on the pole. American saw is always cut on the push, for whatever that's worth. So what we'll do is I'll, is I'll put you over here on this side. You want the uphill or downhill? Um, let me take uphill. Uphill, I'll take the downhill. I'll come over here, and then when you yell switch, I'll stop cutting, we'll go around, switch sides, and then we'll start at the same time. Okay. And we'll see, can it even compete? I'll be, in, I'll be interested to find out. So uh, I've got some WD-40 down there. So WD-40, uh, or any sort of a lubricant really helps. Uh, back in the day, the old the old loggers they used uh, kerosene, and they would have a little whiskey bottle with a black forged hook on it that they would hook into the tree, and that they would uh, lubricate their saws because of uh, the sap would build up on the saws. So you want some of that? All right. So check. Why don't you start over there, Brian? You check your log, uh, make sure that there's no knots underneath there, clear to the bottom, find a clear spot, it won't, won't be in each other's way. American buck saw versus <laughs> <laughs> in the Japanese, well, everything in Japan's a little bit smaller, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, on your call. Ready. And three, two, one. <laughs>
up. Let's move the camera. How you doing? Well, my arm's sore. Yeah. All right, so we both we stopped the timer. We stopped at the same time to reposition the camera. I want you guys to have a good vantage point. How you doing, Brian? Oh, uh, we're not even halfway yet, huh? <laughs> All right, on, on, your, on your call. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, we'll move the camera, we'll switch sides. You call it, we'll start the timer. All right, three, two, one, go. I was telling Brian that I was calling stop as an excuse to move the camera, but the reality of it is we're both getting pretty tired. <laughs> really okay. makes me appreciate my chainsaw. I'll tell you Boy, that. you said that. How you doing? You good on that side? I'm good, yeah. Okay. We'll start the timer again on your call. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's wrap it up. See what you think. Okay, so how far did you get through there, Brian? Well, it, from you kind of rounded, but probably yeah. about a third. Maybe? I'd say maybe a, yeah, a little more than a third. Maybe a third? I, I came in on this side first and started cutting this way until I ran out of blade, and then I started coming in this way. So yeah, maybe maybe a third of the way through, <sighs> but you know, from this way to this way, I'll run the circumference. So there's no question that the that the buck saw is a, is a superior saw for larger logs. Definitely. I think we should do one more thing before we end the video. Let's get something that's more suitable to this. Mm -hmm. No bigger in diameter than half the size of the blade. Let's bring that over here and let's do one last test between right. the two and see if you can outcut uh, the buck saw with that saw and something that's more more manageable. All right. So that's all we have time for today. I, I understand that was completely a ridiculous test, but it was fun, right? Didn't you enjoy, <laughs> enjoy that? So uh, tomorrow uh, we have a more suitable log. So what we have there, what you see is uh, the second test, and this is an 8-inch log, which is exactly half the diameter uh, of Brian's saw versus the buck saw. And you might be surprised uh, what the outcome was. So that will be up there tomorrow. So uh, don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy this. And if you'd like to uh, see the tools that we use on the homestead and my favorite choices, you can. we invite you to go to our Amazon store at wranglermart.com. I'll put a link in the subject heading. And we'll see you guys on the next video.